This is Glenn Thompson. Don't laugh, but he has a dream. In it, he saves the world. At first, the local townsfolk mocked him, calling his invention a portable door wedge. Yet Glenn laughed inside because he had invented a human-powered vehicle, the HPV, the future. Indeed, Glenn is unique among mortals, for he actually, seriously, passionately believes that sometime in the future, all transport could be HPV. There were three of us worked on this to actually produce this new shape, um, which um, I reckon is one of the fastest shapes around. I mean, it, it has a very, very low drag coefficient. It's, um, it's probably the most efficient vehicle in the world. Faith, they say, is inexplicable. Yet faith there is. Faith that the most efficient vehicle in the world will make it from Land's End to John O'Groats. Um, the Land's End John O'Groats is a long event. I mean, that, that we, we're, we're predicting that it will take about 40 hours to complete. And um, it will give you a variety of conditions. Um, you'll be in normal traffic conditions. And um, I think um, it's an ideal way to actually really put HPVs on the map. Um, and actually make them look like um, practical vehicles. OK. Ready? OK, let's go. Right. Clearly, the door wedge model, as seen here, is for experts only. I think the, the area that really will sort of take off is personal transport. Small micro vehicles for one person. So, you know, the congestion on the roads is so appalling at the moment that we're going to have to move towards that so people can move around quicker and easier. For beginners, there's the HPV Mark II, a three-wheeler. On any normal sized road in central London, you would, I mean, you would easily be able to get five of these things abreast, rather than sort of the one car that you get at the moment. Hmm, it looks easy enough. <laughs> I suppose I, I, was, I was getting too cocky and I sort of, um, I, tried, I tried to actually come round you, um, and um, I hadn't seen that bollard that was in front of me, and, just flip the thing, basically. Um, I think if I'd been on a regular bike, I would have gone head first and probably sort of um, ended up with a fractured skull or something. But um, HPVs are good, you know, even in um, uh, crisis situations. You're only that, that far. 